All right, you probably were watching the Panthers game when it happened, but this week, Democratic presidential contenders back in the spotlight for a third debate. The debate field cut from 20 to 10, thank goodness, with the front runners on stage face to face for the very first time. A lot of their focus was on somebody, though, who wasn't even on stage. We must and will defeat Trump. We have a guy there that is literally running our country like a game show. All right, among the major to other topics, <laughs> Come on. then just beating President Trump, gun control, health care as well. Former Vice President Joe Biden challenged Senators Elizabeth Warren and Bernie Sanders on how they'd pay for their Medicare for All plans. Take a listen. How are we going to pay for it? I want to hear tonight how that's happened. So as far as my distinguished friend, the senator on my left does not, has not indicated how she pays for it. And the senator has, in fact, come forward and said how he's going to pay for it, but it gets him about halfway there. I, I've actually never met anybody who likes their health insurance company. I've met people who like their doctors. I've met people who like their nurses. I've met people who like their pharmacists. I like, met people who like their physical therapists. What they want is access to health care. All right, the first time you saw the three of them on one stage together, a lot of folks have been waiting for it uh, up to this point. Uh, wh what did you think? See, seeing your party on full display out there, the, the, the 10 highest sort of poll getter so far, what did you think? Well, um, I would say that I was one of those people that was switching back and forth between the pamphlets and the debate. But yeah. anyway, but um, look, I think that uh, it was great to see all these candidates up on stage really having a substantive debate on where they want to take the country. Um, I feel like that once the field shrinks a little bit, we will have a little bit more time to dive into more policies of what each candidate says. Uh, I think after last night, it's still going to be Joe Biden at the yeah. top. It's still going to be the top three, Joe Biden, Warren, and um and um, Bernie, Bernie. Um, I think that the other candidates are going to have to start doing something to break out because what's going to happen is that we're going to move into the fall and before you know it, it's the Iowa caucuses. So they have to do something to break out. As the Republican yeah. watching, um, there are definitely some people who, who this plays to their strengths and some that it does not. Well, you know, to your point about the Panthers gang, you know, flipping back and forth, I couldn't decide which one was harder to watch. The, uh, you know, I had to do it, come on. But, the, but yeah. you know, we, as we've talked yeah. about, um, we have a front runner in Senator Biden, Vice President Biden, who's been at this since he was, what, 30 years old, yeah. and he still seems uncomfortable in a debate, a debate environment. Um, you know, we've talked about the town hall kind of environment yeah. is more, suits him better. Um, there were a couple of gaffes, but, you know, they're doing three hours. I've done debates before. You yeah, run out, you run out of it. That is a very, very difficult challenge. Uh, a lot of Hillary supporters got really upset with Bernie Sanders by the end of two, 2016 mm -hmm. because they feel like he took away some of her votes going into the general. Mm -hmm. Do you start to worry about that at some at some point that the party is not granted it's still early, mm -hmm. but the party does not appear to be coalescing around somebody. And when you look at it, I mean, when you look at the numbers with Biden, a mm -hmm. Warren, mm -hmm. Sanders, I mean, even sometimes Buttigieg or, or um, Kamala Harris. This thing's not decided. It's nowhere close to being decided. No, it's still early. And it can hurt yeah, going into the general election. Yeah, it's still early. It's, what, mid to late September yeah. right now, middle, middle of September. Um, I think that once we get to closer to Christmas time, going into January, you will see, um, you know, where the field will be shaping up. I believe whoever wins Iowa is going to have the momentum to really carry on and keep going forward. Um, going back to um, your point about um, Biden and these debates, um, I think that... Uh, Voters look at these debates and see that it's hard. It's three hours, sure. you're standing there the whole time. Voters want to know what you're going to do for them. And I think the reason why the vice president is still in the lead is because he's able to connect with people on an emotional level. If you're able to connect with the voters, then you're going to be the one that can be uh, the nominee. That's, that's key. You have to be able to connect with voters, and that's what he's able to keep doing. All right. That's all the time we got, unfortunately. Okay. More flash one after this. All right.